guys, welcome to Rogers Repairs here with another video. And today, I'm hoping to clarify the three wire Hall Effect sensor, whether it's the pull up type of design or the pull down type of design, and what exactly does that mean? So, the Hall Effect sensors include things like the crankshaft position sensor, the camshaft position sensor, wheel speed sensors, which are sensors that pick up electromagnetic interference and produce a digital voltage output regarding the sensor's activity okay so to put it a little bit clearer i'm going to um have like a little visual here okay first we're going to start off with a sensor okay let's say this is a sensor here all right whether that be a wheel speed sensors a cam sensor or crank sensor it's a hall effect sensor the sensor is going to be grounded okay whether that is a chassis ground or whether that's a PCM ground, the sensor will be grounded. One of the terminals will be ground and one of the terminals will be a constant power supply. Now, we're going to assume that this sensor is part of the five volt reference circuit. So we're gonna use five volts for the constant voltage supplied to the sensor. Okay, now the third terminal is going to be the signal wire which is going to send whatever the sensor activity that is picking up is going to send that signal to most of the time let's say the PCM or let's say if it's a wheel speed sensor is going to be the EBCM the electronic brake control module or some sort of module that's going to interpret this data or this information and it's going to take it into account along with other sensor data and is going to make rational decisions with drivability, uh, emissions, and things like that, okay? So that is the signal wire. Let's talk about the pull down type of design first, okay? The pull down, why does that mean? What that means is this, Hall effect sensors are digital sensors, meaning that they are binary, they produce an output of either zero volts or five volts. If a sensor is going to produce zero volts and five volts, depending on the activity that's being picked up in this electromagnetic field here or this magnetic field here, there's going to be a resistor in the pull down type of design in between the signal wire and the five volt reference. Okay, it's going to be called the pull up resistor. The signal wire is going to be 5 volts or is going to remain 5 volts until it's inhibited by a metal crossing this magnetic field and then it's going to bring it down to 0 volts. Okay, let's try to graph that. Let's say we have 0 volts here and 5 volts there. Now here. There is no sensor activity at the moment, which will be an output of five volts. Let's say this sensor is picking up crankshaft position. And at this moment, one of the tooth in the crankshaft a wheel comes across the sensor. Okay. Now, now that we have an interruption in the magnetic field here, now, this signal wire is going to be pulled down to ground, so the voltage output would be zero volts, okay? That's why most digital sensors, Hall effect sensors are gonna produce a square wave, zero volts or five volts. Just understand that for the pull down type of design, you have a pull up resistor that's going to maintain the voltage at 5 volts the signal voltage until it's interrupted and the signal is going to be pulled down to ground. Let's talk about the pull up type of design. What is the difference between the pull down and the pull up now that we know how the sensor transmits the, the data or the information to the uh, computer or whatever is needed to make the decisions on drivability and things like that. 
Now for the pull up type of design, where the only difference is that the resistor is going to be located in between the signal and the ground. That means that the signal voltage okay, is going to remain at zero volts until the sensor picks up a metal or some sort of information which is then going to pull up the voltage to five volts. Let's do the graph again. Let's say we have zero volts, five volts again. And at this moment, there is no uh, metal crossing that magnetic field. So the voltage will be zero volts. Okay, now let's say the reluctor wheel comes and you have a metal now crossing this sensor. So what is gonna be the voltage on a pull up type of design? It's going to be five volts, okay? Which in return is gonna give you a square wave, just like in our other example. Now this resistor is called the, the pull down resistor because it's maintaining the signal wire zero volts until the metal crossing this magnetic field is gonna bring it up to five volts, zero or five, remember digital outputs. So that is the sole difference in the pull up type of design and the pull down type of design. Okay guys, so um, that's basically it. I did not wanna get too complicated in this uh, circuit design because I will be making future videos on how to identify whether you have a pull up or pull down type of design and how to test sensors on the actual vehicle um, and how to diagnose whether these sensors are bad or whether the wiring is at fault. So I didn't wanna complicate things too much. Thank you guys, I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any questions, just drop it down in the comment section. And also, give me ideas on future videos to make, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video.